good morning karmic psychics how are you this wonderful monday morning for the week 31st of october to the 6th of november i hope that your life has been good i hope that you've had a wonderful weekend and you've been rested and now ready for another week of mayhem and fun laughter and joy so i was going to say that um for our hindu listeners out there have a happy new year um as i believe that on the 26th of october your new year had started um i have had some listeners ask me that can we make our new personal number based on our new year um and read the next personal number in my book which is in the 2022 book which um i will say yes you can if you are holding um your view that the new year has now started your personal number absolutely will change um now based on the planetary alignment um and transits at present we can go through them um we have rahu and ketu in the 1st and 7th house we also have sun mercury and venus in the 7th house which is going to create mercury and venus to be combust um but venus and mercury will be combust as the sun is coming between 8 to 10 degrees closer um the distance to the venus and the mercury now when there is a combustion it does mean that relationships are very much um on the forefront for all star signs this week and it is going to be a very intense week even though it's not even the full moon until the 8th of november um this week um venus will be in the sign of swati nakshatra now that is a star in the 7th house um and it will be here from the 23rd of october to the 3rd of november and sun will also be in the swati nakshatra the star um from the 24th of october to the 7th of november and mercury will be in the swati nakshatra too from the 30th of october to the 7th of november now the thing is swati nakshatra is the star in libra um and this star represents the self the self going star um it is represented its symbol is uh the shoot of a plant or a single blade of grass <laughs> now swati um the god um of this star is the the lord vayu um and that that god represents a uh, prana or life breath or the king of music and purifier so when these venus sun and mercury are in the swati nakshatra it means that relationships need more clarity transparency which this week will certainly come about um for everyone for all star signs may it be your work colleagues your friends your children your personal relationships um you will feel that you will be quite troubled at some point as the the uh, combustion combustion of venus and mercury occur this week and you will feel very uneasy and you will perhaps have a sudden uh a rupture of emotions and confrontations and uh this will be very shocking and surprising for many who never see you confronting anyone so for all star signs be careful and know that venus and mercury are, cre- are creating um a combust a combustion and this combustion is creating you to be quite um direct with people not your usual self let's say keep universe keep calm this week um and send out love and whenever you feel you're going to get angry refrain count to 10 count to 100 but keep calm so the planetary alignments is as we also know that mars is in retrograde until uh the second week of january so at present as well mars 
um, is going from Gemini into Taurus from and uh, this transit of Mars this retrograde of Mars will also create uh, family life friends personal relationships to be under the microscope again people have to be mindful of their temper until the 15th of january with with mars retrograde anyway for this week from the 31st of october to the 6th of november what is important is now the message i can give to convey to all you star signs is keep calm keep calm and think positive aries you are on a mission to get your point across and to stand by your terms live by your terms and some things that you haven't let go of um, will now face you and make you a bit unsteady this week and you will have to um, face uh, your past and in some shape or form understand that you will only become the person you wish to become and not be defined by the past relationships that you have held. Um, do not let people's negative expressions of you make you feel that that is all you are. You are above and beyond um, anything imaginable and in you are magic, Aries, and hold on to that, please. Um, you're not defined by people's opinions, okay? You're defined by your own opinions, which you live by. Aries, this is a week to be strong. This is a week to be firm. And this is a week to not drop your standard of, of your, your, your well-being, your kindness, your, your loving nature. Don't get angry. Uh, like I said, count to 10, count to 100. But don't let your standard drop because someone expects you to do that. I do see that there is chances this week for many Aries who are looking to move to make to take some action in this respect. I also feel that those who are not happy in relationships will perhaps even break away from a relationship this week and take time out to see if this is what they want. Um, and you will take time out. On the financial side, you're going to be very content because promotions, accolades are here and you're going to feel that as you enter 2023, that you are going into a very positive, um, a positive year with a great mindset, with the great support of colleagues. So don't ruin it. Don't self-sabotage this week, anything Aries, okay? Now the color for you to wear this week is cobalt blue. Um, and uh, emerald green will be very lucky for you, um, especially around Thursday, Friday, wear this color. Um, I also say uh, that the letters which are lucky for you this week are the letters A, J, and K. Um, good luck. Have a wonderful week, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Taurus, this week it's going to be about your anxiety, your uneasiness for no reason come on enjoy yourself foreign travel is here spending is here enjoyment is here you are definitely moving into a very positive um space um taurus and you must enjoy your own um abilities recognize your own abilities that next year is going to be on your terms unfinished business court cases uh, legal work that needs to be tidied up let that get tidied up if possible in this year alone so that you can focus on your career um, and your new um, your new chapter that begins from the middle of january for you taurus be careful with your stomach be careful with your lower back um, also, please don't, this week with this uh, Venus and Mercury combustion, please avoid misunderstanding people, okay? Uh, you could take what someone says the wrong way, whether it's in the home or at work, and that will ruin your mood, um, and you could get quite confrontational for no reason. Try not to be that sensitive this week. Take everything in your stride. 
listen and talk less so that you don't fall um, a victim uh, to to misunderstanding and then more things coming up uh, you're coming your way from people um, and you're thinking oh my god I wish I had never opened my mouth be careful this week enjoy yourself enjoy your trips away enjoy family um, and look forward to your new 2023 your new chapter will begin so come on this week get through it and be calm okay lots of love and light to you now the colors for you taurus which will be lucky are the colors brown khaki and cream um and you will hear good news from the letters r s and t um if possible i was also going to say be careful with your feet be careful of not having any minor accidents and getting hurt so please don't rush take it easy this week taurus love and light to you moving on to gemini gemini this is a very this is an amazing week for you um however your past haunts you something from your past doesn't leave you alone i also i feel that you are not enjoying the things that are in front of you where it may be your work your holidays that you've booked the people in your life you seem to be troubled by a, the, your past in some way and all i will say is is that your past is in the past for a reason the beginning of, of a new chapter awaits you um you must try to understand that when people that you care about suddenly stop being in your life it doesn't mean that your life ends there's always a new beginning new people for you to grow as a person and this week is about understanding that you have a bigger path to follow um and don't let your past disappointments be reflected in your day-to-day -day life i hope that makes sense for you um gemini's now be careful uh with your anxiety this week and snapping at people again avoid jumping to conclusions the color which is lucky for you this week is going to be the navy blue um and if just with gemini i think you're going to be extra sensitive so uh the green jade um stone will really help you um or the pearl to keep your emotions at bay good luck now moving on to cancer cancer i feel that this week is all about justice it's all about any legal documents that you need to tidy up may it be bills may it be uh finances this is the week that you will tidy these things up um and you will feel compelled to create more financial stability and progress in your career as always cancer you love to progress and property investments business is always uh, on the forefront with you however on the family front i would say to you please keep calm this week don't um jump to conclusions with family members this week um it it will just ruin all the harmony that is around you right now suddenly this jumping to conclusion could really um imbalance the family life again which has recently come together beautifully um please be careful with your stomach be careful with your stomach um and heartburn so if you're eating late at night please um look into that this week because it could cause you a lot of irritation okay love and light to you cancerians what i will say to you this this color that will be very lucky for you this week is the color white and cream um and also uh the stone i think for you cancerians as well you would need the red carnelian just to keep you a little bit more karma and balanced um and especially with your heart chakra i feel that you do need some some calming down because uh the venus combustion can really and the mercury combustion can really um impact you because of your high sensitivity um love and light to cancerians now moving on to leo leo what do i see for you so leo what i see for you 
is that there is someone that will want to come into your life who is interested in you, who is very kind, very genuine, um, nothing like your past um, relationships, but you have a trust issue and you're not going to try, you're not going to make an effort or try to bring them into your life. I will just say to you that um, that two people are never the same um, and we must also learn to understand we all grow as people um, and we too um, can become better versions of ourselves just when we meet the wrong people it brings out a better version of us so in this case there is a genuinely better person coming towards you um, and if this is an existing relationship then it means that the relationship will go through a review this week um, with the volatile venus and mercury and you guys will try to improve on what you already have so this is a very very good time this week to uh to look at the relationship look at the flaws if there are any and to work on it together spend more time with each other um, perhaps work life and other demands have made you both spend less time with each other so this week will be important so there's no point snapping at each other fighting with each other because you both want to be with each other but it's about sitting down and talking at, at, at ways to improve the relationship so leo for you this is how it is this week and i will also say to you be careful with your driving leo this week again because this venus combustion can really impact you when it comes to your driving um the color cream white and the moonstone stone the moonstone pearl uh, will be very lucky for you so if you could wear that as a pendant this will really help to keep you calm this week leos um, and the letters m n h d will be lucky for you um, this week leo so love and light to you moving on to virgo virgo this is about family this is about disputes um, about trying to keep be diplomatic around family members that don't all think like you and you um, having to think twice before you express yourself because you don't want to create any um, animosity you don't want to create any fights um, so you will be very diplomatic this week and this could be very hard I will just say to you that if you are around your mother or a best friend or your partner is to confide in them when no one is listening so that you um, don't offend people in the circle. Um, Virgos, this week, uh, please be careful with your, with your bones, with your feet, with your lower back, with your hands, uh, the joints, arthritis, things like this. Um, uh, Virgos, uh, your joints are uh, very much a part of this transit. Uh, be careful, be careful this week. Um, I would tell you to wear the color green, emerald green, light green, bright green, dark green. It will prove to be lucky and calming for you. Also, I would recommend that you wear the yellow citrine. I feel that that will also bring you a lot of good energy, good vib vibrant energy, um, Virgos. And I will just also tell you that to enjoy the moments with people, laugh a bit more this week, avoid being snappy. People, when you snap at them, it makes them feel not very good about themselves um, and you're, you may be snapping not because of the person in front of you but because of other frustrations that you hold within you so be mindful of how you carry yourself around others okay virgo love and light to you now moving on to libra libra this is really going to be one of the most sensitive weeks for you you might be breaking up from someone you might be going through a divorce you might be going through a new relationship you know this is all about relationships for you libra this week i feel that there will be a lot more things said from the heart 
um, and you will be less diplomatic and that's really hard for dip, for the diplomatic Libran but you will be speaking from the heart you will get lots of joy from your children for those who have children but when it comes to relationships I think that there are things that you are not happy with and you will um, express those things this week um, and it's very important that you do because um, your partner may feel that you haven't noticed their behavior but you have um, and things need to be need to be sorted need to be resolved for some it may not be that easy there could be a divorce here a separation and this is the week where court cases or speaking to people um, that are counselors lawyers etc may also be this week it could cause a lot of frustrations um, and a lot of a mental anxiety. So please be careful this week, Librans. Um, please be careful with your anxiety and your lower back. Um, and do try to take walks where you can um, to reduce the anxiety. The letters which are lucky for you this week are the letters R, A, J, D. Um, and I also recommend that you wear the uh, red carnelian because I feel that this will give you str strength and calmness at the same time um, and I do feel that you must um, you must not take the stress you have friends family here to listen to you who are with you so please don't feel alone love and light to you moving on to Scorpio Scorpio this is a very magical time for you this is this is magical because emotionally you know you recognize what a relationship should be about it should be about emotions devotion loyalty love um, and it also means that when it comes to people in your life that life is short you are becoming aware that you should be more um, more appreciative of those who look after you in a relationship that you may be in um, you are like a magnet you're attracting the good and bad guys and I will just say to you now that you are allowed to be whoever you want Scorpios but make your decisions wisely because you are in a very good energy now your work life your success is here um, and you're getting a lot of attention from good and bad people and people that could make you stray off your good path so be careful that you do not stray um, family life is going to be very good um, this this month however this week is about relationships it's about being more honest being more loyal um, and really thinking what you want out of the relationship especially you don't want to lose family when um, and you want to take on your responsibility as an adult so I will just say to you this week when it comes to your relationships your personal relationships that you know be more honest be more transparent be more responsible and things good things are coming to you you're going to succeed you're going to be signing contracts you're going to be um feeling that you're getting closer to your success day by day more success so there's a lot of good things you don't need to stray because good things are here i hope that makes sense to you um the letters which will be lucky for you this week are a j k e and the letter p for papa and the color that you should wear this week which i think will bring you extra luck is the royal blue love and light to you now sagittarius sagittarius this is about love this is about career this is about travel everything is here for you you're doing exceptionally well people are looking at you and thinking wow sagittarius have it all from the money to the attention, the peace, the spirituality. Some people are thinking, how can Sagitt this Sagittarius person be so content in themselves? But you know, you're going through your own healing. You're letting go of the past. You're becoming a better version of yourself. You're so optimistic. 
and you're going to in the new year from now from this week you may plan to book holidays abroad um you're very much in demand there's lots of people who want to do business with you want to share your business ideas want to be a part of your business i feel for sagittarius even with your education your studies you're just going to become more knowledgeable you're really taking on lots of courses people themselves are going to want you to teach them things that you know and the knowledge that you have you're really going to come into yourself this week the only thing i will say with this venus and mercury combustion that is here this week is avoid being snappy at home avoid snapping at your parents avoid um, jumping to conclusions parents if, if you have parents um is show them that you care love them ring them ask them how they are this week is about appreciating okay um all the hard work you've done is paying off however don't forget um family is gold family is everything work life the letters of people that can bring you good luck this week and avoid please avoid um conflicts with these people at work other letters uh c k p r and the letter m avoid conflicts or ego clashing with them you're doing so well don't ruin it this week sagittarius and the color that you should be wearing is the yellow or orange um which will bring you luck i also feel there's some good news coming to you unexpectedly by the end of this week sagittarius love and light to you moving on to capricorn now capricorn this is a very intense week for you with regards to relationships so many people you know want to be committed to you want you to commit to them but your past is stopping you from giving them the true you it feels like a part of you has almost it has died because of past relationships but it says come on capricorns get back to yourself you're a hard working loving loving person at home as well and why do you want to live in the past move on let the relationship be celebrated life is so short live each day with a positive mindset people around you this week will feel that oh you're not positive enough you've you're negative you're not fun to be around come on organize dinners out organize fun evenings um do something with your loved ones your family show that you are caring and that you just don't have um time for your just for yourself don't make time just for yourself make time for family too capricorns for you this week i will say to you that don't be a hermit this week make time for your family with your loved ones and be more honest in your relationships tell them how you feel don't keep it to yourself come on what is this pressure that you're living under capricorns the color for you this week which will be very lucky is khaki and beige um and the lucky stone i recommend for you actually is the ruby or garnet i feel that these stones will bring you lots of luck this week and help you snap out of this negative mood that you're in love and light to you capricorns moving on to aquarius aquarius here i see that you are fed up of being second best you are fed up of compromising you're fed up of taking the back seat um you are fed up of just being acknowledged on or, or undermined almost this week and you feel that you're going to i don't know you're going to snap and say this is not working i'm not happy okay you're not happy that's great you've expressed that but to throw or chuck everything away um why not try to talk about it this week um i feel that you will be frustrated with family members or or a love a lover who you feel is um 
is put making you feel like your second best or making you a second priority this week express yourself and say i'm not second priority i am number one and i am going to stay that and i want to feel special and i need to hear it from you demand demand what you want don't compromise and it's okay aquarius to speak up because you're so loving and so sociable and you give so much to all there's nothing wrong in asking for it back in return this week i feel that you're going to take time out to rest to enjoy the company of good friends i feel that someone may have upset you or hurt you and you're trying to get over that this week but when you are in the company of good good company honest company i feel that you will feel much much better the people that will be lucky for you this week are s k r j b b for bravo that is and the color that you should wear this week is the color turquoise i feel that this will bring you lots of luck abundance and good news towards the end of the week for those who are applying for a job they will hear good news as well so love and light to you aquarius moving over to pisces pisces this week is about you you know building planning planning i should say planning your future with your partner there's a chance that you may want to move um, and you're going to uh, look into future investments you're also going to take some time out for yourself you've been very very giving to your family and your work um, over the last 18 months but you want to have a break by yourself you've been you feel like you need to go away and and isolate from everyone and come back um, after you've recharged your batteries now if you talk about doing that this week some family members may feel that they want to come with you they want to be with you and you may feel frustrated and you may express it in the wrong way you know you can say you want me time but there's a way of saying it without making the other person feel that you don't love them so be careful how you express yourself this week pisces yes you're entitled to your me time just word it um diplomatically this week um and express love to those around you now moving away or future property investments are showing this week and you may be actively looking at your financial status or your finances to to make some progress as you we as you move into the the new year 2023 to to invest so piscians you're really coming into um, a very good year like sagittarius uh, Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter so Sagittarius and Pisces 2023 really will prove to be very beneficial for you both regarding property luck and uh, moving uh, and I wish you all the best Pisces now the stone that you can wear this week is the is the pearl I feel that that will help you immensely and for you to wear the color green and blue these will serve to be very lucky for you now moving on um, I have some uh, read uh, listeners who've written in to me to to ask for a reading um, like I said if you go to www.karmicpsychic.co.uk you will see um, on the contact us page a form if you fill it out with your date of birth time of birth and place of birth then i will be able to make your chart and do you a reading and we will book that at your convenience and my convenience and payment can be made over the website um, i also wanted to discuss that for those who are um, Hindu who um, who recently on the 26th of October had their new year um, I have had a message um, where you have called as uh, listeners have written in to say can I now change my personal number when I read your book yes you can read your personal number I mean I do know in the 2022 book I have written the personal numbers down for everyone for example if you're born on the 1st of January um, 2022 your personal number is 8 because you're adding 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 from 2022 now as you move 
into 2023, your personal number is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, which comes to number 9. So, for those who are following the Hindu calendar and this is your new year, I will say to you, you can start reading um, your personal number 9 goals. Now, I have updated um, and the book is pu going to be published in November, after the 10th of November, and you will be um, able to see the predictions that I have made for 2023. Um, and the personal number remedies, which I have done in 2022, will be exactly the same. Um, and I will write that down. The only thing that will be different in this book is the predictions. Now, the predictions for 2023, I will wait, I wait for you to read the book to see everything that I have written in there, but I will be covering everything globally um, in the book um, to also the personal challenges that we will all face. Um, that will be in the book as well. I will leave some links for you um, in the pod description regarding uh, my books, my website, so that you can reach out and contact me um, for readings. Um, I also have an Instagram account, uh, karmic, psychic, karmic, all one word, all one word, karmic, psychic, karmic. And on that Instagram account, you will be not only be able to follow me, but you will be able to see all the events that I attend um, to. And if any of you are interested in an aura cleanse, then I would be more than happy to do that. So I have had listeners say, can you explain to us, we've seen your website, what is aura cleansing? Well, aura cleansing is something which I have um, created specially to release trauma that we hold. Um, and I use the astrology to see the blockage um, in your chart, the karmic blockage. What is the karmic blockage? Now, in every chart, you will see, you will see that certain planets come together and some of these conjunctions are not very favorable. They are linked to our past life and these past life uh, reoccurrences come back into this life. For example, you may have a, a planet which says you will not be ha happy in marriage um, or you will not have a good partner in your life until a certain age. This can be seen um, or you will have trust issues due to a partner. These things can be seen from a chart. So when I see these blockages, I obviously can understand that you are half living your life in a relationship and we I use either the Eastern method, which is aura cleansing, to release the blockages, which helps to release blockages deep-rooted to karmic cycles from previous lives as well. And it really makes you emotional, makes you cry, but it's a good and a great release of energy. The other thing that I do from the Western approach is EFT, emotional freedom tapping. So I try to use EFT as the alternative method to aura cleanse, which is the Eastern method versus the Western method to release blockages. Now, in astrology, all I will say to you is that it's, a, it's not a very easy subject to, to define or put into black and white um, boxes. Astrology is a subject which requires a lot of understanding, a lot of studying. And you know that I do workshops on this as well. And I'm more than happy to teach because I do teach students um, astrology. And what I will be covering in my book in 2023, I will be teaching all of those who are interested in Vedic astrology. You will be able to buy my books on basic Vedic astrology foundations topics, subjects which are needed in order to study um, Vedic astrology to become a Vedic astrologer. It is very different to the Western astrology because we study past life, we study certain stars um, that make you up and those are broken down further into further stars 
um, to define more about your personality, who you are, about your predictions for the future, as well as looking into your past. It's a very interesting way of looking at your soul journey. And I highly recommend those who would love to learn astrology, that again, you can go on my website, go to the Contact Us page and put down that you are interested in learning and I teach via Zoom. Now, when it comes to um, Ho'opono, I am a practitioner in that. That is another method, meditation method, um, of releasing blocked energies within yourself as well, dealing with trauma, depression, and issues with family members um, or friends. This is another very, very good way Ho'oponopono techniques to learn and study. If you're more, in, if you are interested in that, then I too can teach you and study. You can study that with me. Um, I will also say um, a lot of listeners have asked me about uh, the full moon. Um, about oh, what you talk a lot about techniques that are used in astrology or manifestation. You do a lot of manifestation techniques on the full moon. Well, I have written a book on that, the top five manifestation techniques which my clients use and have seen very positive results. Um, and I do suggest that if you are interested in that, to also go on Amazon, type in Karmic Psychic, and you will see the books there. One is on, um, on COVID, a guide to being happy during the COVID pandemic, which I must say was my first book and I enjoyed writing that. I then wrote about the 2022 numerology predictions and I did predict about women empowerment. I did predict about global fires and domestic fires, which have happened in 2022. Moving on to 2023, I know I have covered very vaguely um, this subject in some of these episodes, but I would, would love you to read my book, which is out, coming out um, after the 10th of November, and for you to see in more detail my predictions, and I'm sure you're going to be extremely interested to know what I have written, um, and your feedback has always been wonderful and positive. Thank you very, very much. Um, the books will be available on Amazon. I have also written just some positive affirmation books for those who need to retrain their subconscious mind to be more positive. Read daily positive affirmations can really help change your energy, your vibration. Just like EFT, just like aura cleansing, um, now the remedies, people said, can you really change your energy when you wear a stone? And I say, yes, you can, because the stones that we use in astrology um, represent a particular planet which needs strengthening in your chart. Uh, for example, the first house, uh, Mars, the, pla the stone for that is the red coral. For moon, the stone is pearl. For Jupiter, the stone is yellow sapphire. For the Rahu, it is uh, gourmet, garnet. For number five, Mercury, the, ha the stone is green emerald. Now, I could go on with that, but I just wanted to say that um, every so for example number six the stone is diamond seven is ketu that stone is the cat's eye um eight is um is um sorry is the mars i have already said so seven is cat's eye now I was going to say to you that eight and nine are other stones which can be used um, depending on your chart. So I would have to look at that to be to give you definite a definite answer. But I will say to you that Saturn is uh, 
the blue sapphire and the sun is uh, the red ruby but I would need to look at the charts to really see that now number eight is Saturn planet and number nine is going to be <coughs> sorry is going to be the the sun now when i go into the transits i was going to say to you a lot of you are also asking in astrology that the houses that i covered last time that do they always mean that do they always mean the first house meaning you the second house meaning speech mother does the third house also always mean siblings so the fourth house also always mean mother fifth house father sixth house work seventh house relationships eighth house death ninth house religion tenth house career eleventh house foreign gains twelfth house isolation spirituality and the answer is yes it does so as the planets when you were born are scattered in any of these houses at the time of birth at the time that you were born um then this is what we have to study and this is how we know what your remedies are for the stones uh what stones you need to be to wear now it's it would be wrong of me to tell you oh if you're if you have so many planets in this house you must wear this stone it really has to be studied first before i could suggest a remedy for you the other thing that we look at is where you sleep um, if there's any mirrors in front of you, um, if you are sleeping in the east and west alignment or west and east alignment, it's very important that you sleep in that alignment. The other thing that is very important is that every person has um, a lucky corner. So based on your birth number, so for example, if you're born on the first, in this case, it is the north corner, which is your lucky corner. And this corner would need to be activated with certain colors, with certain objects um, and certain, perhaps even a water feature to enhance that corner. So this is another thing that we look at. We also look at your palm. Um, this is something which also combines beautifully with your chart. Um, and it is a very good way to understand um, your life path and your past energies and your sensitivity as well that comes up through your palm as well another thing that i look at and most of us do study is there's many charts we don't just look at your birth chart in vedic astrology we look at many other divisional charts um, the one which is quite popular and the one that we use quite a lot is the d9 chart the divisional nine chart and we use that to see what your soul purposes what your energy is like um, on a spiritual level um, and where the transits when they take place they can impact your birth chart and your divisional charts and this is how we can predict if you're moving you're going to have a child if you're going to move job there's so much that we can see from that as well so if you are interested in having your chart done then please do contact me through www.karmicpsychic.co.uk and I will give you a more detailed analysis of your um, year ahead. Um, and if there's any particular questions, you can ask me three questions um, and I will include that in your chart. So having discussed this with you, I wanted to also mention that another book I will be writing is the Inner Child, the Inner Healing Child book, which will also be coming out actually in the new year. Um, and this book I will write um, especially for those who are interested in aura cleanse because I'm using the aura cleanse technique to heal the inner child from trauma, depression, anxiety. Uh, for those, I would just like to mention again that if any of you are interested in the aura cleanse, then I will be um, on Instagram, karmic, psychic, karmic, where you can see where I go to do the aura cleanse and Vedic astrology and I hope to see you there. So now to end this beautiful episode with all of you, please be safe this week during the combustion of Venus and Mercury. Um, I love to explain to you through the planets how the week can be 
for all star signs and I hope that through this awareness that you become more um, self-disciplined um, as you know how the planets can be volatile and refrain yourself from being temperamental so it's it's a beautiful way to analyze the week with the planets um, and I enjoy um, your feedback and I enjoy the fact that you um, are listening um, and keep up supporting the channel so how we are going to end now is by me telling you to close your eyes my beautiful listeners my beautiful karmic psychics and as you close your eyes I would love you to imagine there is a white light surrounding you and as you breathe in for five and breathe out for seven just release the pressures, the anxieties that are on you, just release them, breathe in, breathe out. As you breathe in and out, just feel that you are letting go, you are releasing the energies that no longer serve you, you're feeling lighter, you're feeling more positive. Imagine you're at the beach sitting down and the fresh air is against your skin. Feel that your lungs are opening up more and you're breathing in more fresh air. As you sit cross-legged, imagine that you're releasing all the stresses that you've been holding on to, all the words that people have said to you that no longer serve you, let them go. And repeat after me that I am abundant, I am successful, I am fortunate, I am loved. I am happy, I am successful, I am abundant. As you say this, also say, I forgive me. What a release of energy. I forgive me, I love me, I forgive all, I am at peace. So hold on to that, I am at peace. Breathe in, breathe out. Be aware of your breathing. And stay in this peaceful energy for the next five minutes. I will love you and leave you with some beautiful music. Sit in this posture for about five minutes and just relax. Love and light to you karmic psychics. Until next week.